look like a Latina Taylor Swift? Hmm. Huh. Look as I go, I'm like this. my channel I'm Sonia and today's video is going to be one a review and also I'm going to squish in a little um, tutorial on my Selena look so hopefully you guys are interested and if you are just keep watching we always say just keep watching because people are like girl I don't even know why I clicked on this bye click you're like girl all you did was wear eyeliner and red lipstick calm down but I'm going to show you guys some swatches and also the packaging that came in. It literally came today and I was so excited I had to sit down and film this for you guys. So FedEx dropped off this box. It's like these fresh little roses. At the bottom of each of them have these little water containers to keep them fresh. So they're hanging on for dear life in there. I'm sure this cost them a pretty penny for this packaging. So I really appreciate it and I think it's so cute. I think as bloggers we didn't get the entire collection. We just got the highlight collections are the highlight hero products of the collection. There is a lip gloss and a lip gloss, a lipstick, and I think maybe two other eyeshadows that I did not receive, which I'm okay with. Um, I was so blessed to just get this as it is, so super excited about that. Um, right off the bat, if I'm moving like an alien or stiff neck, it's because I'm worried about my bangs falling off. Um, or them showing because they're so like awfully clipped on top of my head. You're just supposed to see this part anyhow. Now, you guys, this is not my feelings towards her or towards Mac, the company. I'm just talking about overall review. So before anybody attacks me and, like, threatens to kill me or my son, um, chill out. This is just about packaging. Um, uh, so many different images were all over the internet about what they thought. I guess what they thought the packaging was going to look like. It looks nothing like that. It's a flat matte um, purple packaging and it looks like this so this is what the compact looked like what I saw originally when people teased it was a black shiny compact with Selena's logo on top of her like one of her like famous images printed on the compact and that's what I was expecting I was like so excited black is so sleek it's gonna look so fabulous in pictures and things like that purple I would not have ever thought purple would be the color that I would associate Selena. Maybe it was like that purple jumpsuit she wore, but it was more like maroon, so maybe that's not it either. I don't understand. Like maybe Selena fans can educate me on why they selected purple. Maybe that was her favorite color. I'm not sure, but um, either way, I was really happy with this particular compact. I really like the shade and the way that it looks. Her name is pressed into it as well. This shade is actually way too dark for me. Um, so if you are lighter than I am, this is probably going to make you look dirty. So FYI, if you're just going to buy it because you're a Selena fan, I totally get it. But as far as um, it being functional on your face, it's going to make you look dirty. So back it up, girl. Um, so yeah, I love it as my bronzer or contouring shade. I put it a little bit on my nose to widen my nose a little bit because my I have like a little weeny nose compared to Selena. She's got a nice fuller nose than I do. So I had a play with a contour in my nose. It's perfect for that. So yeah, if you are a medium, beige, and darker or deeper, this would be perfect for you. Next up are going to be the two Selena um, eyeshadows and one is called No Me Quiero Mas and it's the title of one of her really famous songs. So it's a brown, matte brown eyeshadow, and I put that into my crease, which you guys will see in just a minute. So, I don't speak Spanish, obviously. <laughs> okay, this next one is a pink one, and it is all, I feel like all of them are in Spanish. This one is called Fotos y um, Recuerdos, which means photographs or pictures and gifts. So that's this little pink one. I use this one all over my lid. It's a really nice, soft pink. Anybody's going to look good in this one, girl. Not even gonna lie, I love this pink one and it's also matte. I'm not sure, well, actually it has a little faint shimmer, but to me, it looks matte. I don't know, my eyelids, it's pretty matte. I don't know if it's just oily and just soaked it all up or what, but yeah. I also got two lipsticks. Yay! One I'm wearing right now, and this one's called Como La Flor. Mm -hmm. 
Como la flor. And yeah, it's another. Obviously, if you are a Selena fan, you are dying right now because you're like, that is like the best name. Ah! I love it. And it's so nice on my, my lips. So moisturizing. This next one is called Dreaming of You and it's a dark matte color. Oh, I'm going to try it on. Um, before I try on um, Dreaming of You, I did wear Boot Black, and this is their black liquid liner, and I put that all over my eyes, and I can't wait to show you guys the tutorial. My eyebrows are a lot skinnier than they, they usually are, which you don't see because I've got my cool bangs in the way, um, but yeah, I am totally obsessed with this look. I kind of want to just like wear my eyebrows skinny again, you know? I was like, ooh, who's that? Mm -hmm. Not Selena. Ooh. Okay, here we go. I love it already. I love watching IG videos of girls putting lipstick on. I'm like, how do you do, why are you doing it so slow? Like, no one ever does it that slow. And uh, I, I put it on like a monster. <laughs> There it is. Okay. Oh my god. Tastes like a tuna sandwich. Okay. So jumping right into the tutorial, I'm going to start with foundation. This is a new one from Smashbox. This is their Studio Skin Foundation. I'm a fan of their Halo Skin Foundation, and I am in the shade 5 in that one. And in this one, they sent me three, and they were all way too light, so I ended up having to mix them. So I don't have the proper review for you guys just yet. I need to get my shade first of all. So my face is a lot lighter than usual. I am tan because I just came back from Belize. Um, so all the products are gonna look extremely light and it's because they are. Like this concealer from Too Faced Cosmetics is called Born This Way and it's in the shade light. I usually take medium, but since a lot of the pictures that I reference um, trying to get some inspiration from Selena would have to be um, her face was so much lighter. I don't know, it's like that was a style back in the day to have some really bright red lips and um, light skin. So yeah, it's totally Madonna too. Then I'm going to be playing with some contour. This is really heavy and kind of costumey, so um, I would not follow along with this at all unless you have exactly the same shape as me, which you probably don't because everybody's one of a kind. Um, but I'm using the Master Contour Stick from Maybelline, so if you guys are interested in a review on that one, it's actually really pretty when you're not putting it all over your damn face like I am right now. Like I said, this is more like costume makeup than it is like the real deal, and you're going to see how messy I'm getting <laughs> with this damn powder all over my face. I am setting my face now with some loose powder from MAC, and this is from their Prep and Prime collection. So just dusting that on, taking a little bit of blunt, and that's actually in the blush and contour the blush and contour compact in the Selena line and as you can see now that I'm looking back I think I was just blinded by the damn lights that are in my office um yeah I'm way darker than I'm supposed to be so if you are my color or my pigmentation or skin tone I would not even bother with that compact it's way too dark and it just makes you look freaking dirty and it's super super pigmented so if you're going to use it use a really really light hand don't do do it like me and put it on like a damn gorilla. It looks like I need a shower. Um, or it looks like I rubbed self tanner all over my face and forgot to scrub it off. So I'm going to be drawing my eyebrows in as thin as possible. I have thin eyebrows as it is, but girl, I like to thicken them up when I'm doing my own makeup. So yeah, thanks a lot, Selena. <laughs> now I'm going to be making my nose appear just a bit wider. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring that contour further down on the sides of the bridge of your nose and that will thicken it up. Usually when girls are, you know, doing the contour on their nose, they bring it so close to each other it's ridiculous, but um, Selena has a thicker nose so that's why I was playing with the contour just a bit. Then I'm going to do a couple of coats of mascara before I pop on my eyeliner and my lashes just because this part gets a little bit tricky for me. I'm going to be doing a flat eyeliner and you guys will see that in just a moment. Um, and that's just to change the shape of my eyes as well because I have circle eyes and she has, you know, more of uh, an almond shape, really sharp eyes. And as you can see here, I'm adding the matte brown eyeshadow just to the crease of my eyes and going more of, an, of a line shape. 
Then on the lids, I'm going to be dusting on a little bit of that pink, rosy pink eyeshadow and then blend them all together. Now going with the theme of Selena's eyes, like I said, I have to change the shape of my eyes since they are so round and bubbly like a frog. I am going to make almost like a straight line all across my top lid and connect it to the bottom corner. So keeping that really, really straight and steady, so really short, short strokes and connecting them all together will definitely change the shape of your eye. Then I'm going to pop on some oldies but goodies. These have been worn and <laughs> worn and abused like so many times. They're Ardell 113s. And finishing off my look with that bright red glossy lipstick, which is amazing. You guys have no idea how conditioning it is for your lips. I have the crustiest lips on the block and it did wonders. Throw in some fake bangs and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.